place? Uh, the exercise Aurora. Uh, Aurora stands for dawn, meaning the, the, the beginning of the build-up of the Swedish Armed Forces. Uh, it's a very big exercise with more than 26,000 uh, uh, participants uh, from, um, uh, from, of course, Sweden, but also from uh, 14 other nations. Uh, the exercise stands on a national defense, uh, um, uh, is based on a national defense exercise, but also together with the partners. So uh, we have um, uh, the main objectives for the, for the Air Force is to uh, be able to command uh, the units uh, but also to provide the host nation support for partners, but also to integrate them uh, together with uh, the Swedish units and uh, to be able to command all of it. We come from a situation where, uh, where we, uh, the, capability, the military capabilities were very low, uh, small numbers. The realization that the development of the world is, is not as positive as we saw before Look what happened last year with, with the full invasion, the war is back in, in Europe. So now we're building again. We need a strong national defense, even though we are entering uh, NATO sooner or later. You need a robust, solid national defense to take care of your own uh, safety and defense. Uh, of course, we bring, uh, we bring knowledge about fighting in this environment at our territory down south here not least up north uh, harsh conditions very cold so that would be one thing uh, modern thinking uh, uh, high level of, of training and education for our officers uh, that would be part of what we bring uh, to the table the main thing will be to have a security guarantee as a country. So it's a political decision to be part of something greater, the military alliance, but also being able then to uh, be part of the, the, the real operational planning, including bringing our national planning into NATO, be part of it, and not least be part of, of NATO deterrence. And I know today that Swedish military capabilities will add to NATO uh, deterrence.